It was a warm summer night when four friends decided to go out on the town. They had all been looking forward to the evening for weeks, and were eager to let loose and have some fun. The four friends were Mark, Steve, Amy, and Ryan. Mark was the adventurous one in the group, always looking for new experiences and the next exciting thing to do. Steve was the laid-back one, content with just hanging out with his friends and going with the flow. Amy was the social butterfly, always looking to meet N. E. W. people and make connections. And finally, there was Ryan, the pessimist. Ryan was always the one to bring everyone back to reality and remind them that no matter how much fun they were having, they had to be careful. The four friends arrived at their destination and were immediately greeted by a large crowd of people. The place was filled with the sounds of music and laughter. Mark and Steve quickly made their way to the bar, while Amy and Ryan decided to explore the rest of the area. Mark and Steve ordered a round of drinks and started chatting with the people around them. Soon enough, they found themselves in a conversation with two women, who happened to be sisters. They introduced themselves as Daisy and Violet, and it didn't take long for them to join the group. The six of them moved to the dance floor, where they spent the next few hours dancing and having a great time. Mark and Steve were showing off their moves, while Daisy and Violet were laughing at their attempts. Amy and Rye, and were content to just watch and enjoy the spectacle. At one point, Daisy and Violet decided to take a break from the dancing and stepped outside for a smoke. Mark and Steve followed them, while Amy and Ryan decided to stay on the dance floor. The four friends were having a great time, but little did they know, their fun was about to be interrupted. Just then, a group of five men approached them. They were all extremely large and intimidating, and it was clear that they were there to cause trouble. E. The leader of the group stepped forward and began to berate Mark and Steve. He accused them of hitting on his sisters, and demanded that they leave the premises immediately. The other four men surrounded the group, making it clear that they meant business. Mark and Steve refused to back down, and instead challenged the group to a fight. The leader accepted the challenge and the two groups faced off. Fortunately for Mark and Steve, Amy and Ryan had noticed the commotion and had quickly come to TH. Aid. The four friends managed to take down the group of five men and sent them running. After the altercation was over, the four friends finally had a chance to relax. They all agreed that it had been a wild night, but it was definitely one that they would never forget. As they said their goodbyes, Mark and Steve made a silent promise to each other that they would never forget the amazing experience they had just shared. They knew that their friendship was stronger than ever and that it would last a lifetime.